hey guys and welcome back to Halo Wars. In the last video we uh, put Forge's plan into action and um, well, it wasn't even Forge's plan was it? Uh, into action and we dragged the FTL core up to its uh, final voyage shall we say uh, with a plan to send the planet into supernova to destroy all of the Forerunner ships. However we must protect our interests uh, until uh, that can come to pass. So let's continue on the final mission. This mission is actually fairly challenging, even on normal difficulty. Um, you'll see why in a minute. Badass cutscene as well. Gentlemen, we're burning sunshine here. Time to go to work, Forge. So good. Let's go. For the record, I would have kicked your ass the first time if the lady hadn't stopped me. I love the way the Spartans just chucking the Arbiter's corpse off the side Sir, there. It's already overheated. I'll have to separate the core and align them manually when they need to blow. Son, I have a feeling before this is over, we'll need every last Spartan in the fight. I can do this. Report back to the ship. Good luck, sir. It's been an honor. No. Damn, son. That's heavy. Captain, the exit passage has been sealed. Our escape is blocked. Ground teams. Find a way to open that portal, or we're all dead. Don't you worry about it, Captain. Doors. You'll need to open them in the correct order. Yes, this level, and my mouse has fallen. We'd be hosed without the power of this mouse. Let me tell you that much. Ah, oh, right. Technology will only react to human touch. Mmm, funny that. We are detecting movement coming from the east side of the portal. Possible large alien infection. Any well, all right then. Life nearby will lock the system. So we have six of these. Six of these buttons to push. You can activate them like that, but they will shut down if the alien scourge uh, is too close. Now, to make the skull appear on this level, 
we need to take out three scarabs. Yeah, that's right. Three scarabs we need to take out. That is actually as tough as you would imagine. Taking down one scarab is problematic at times. Alright, let's grab all these resources. Now, our unit of choice is going to be an air unit. But it's not going to be the air unit you're most familiar with. Alright, let's pull our boys back. There is another area up here that we can get unlimited resources as well, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. <clears throat> Turret complete. Cool. Got it. Right, we have a time limit on this mission as well, which is where the difficulty comes from. Supply pad complete. Right, we've got some supplies trickling in now. Nice. We shall take it. We shall leave our Spartans here to defend. What's that there? There is uh, some cover there that we could take, but we don't really need to worry about things like that. <coughs> we could do, <coughs> excuse me, we could do a warthog yeah, rush, complete. but we're not going to. We want the air pad as quick as we can. Pad upgraded. We also Supply want a field upgraded. armory. <clears throat> Turret complete. Come on, let's get the air pad. Now they do drop in an unlimited number of scarabs, which yes, is as inconvenient as you, you might imagine. Got it. Let's go grab these resources here. Got it. It's not a lot, but we're gonna need them all. And that was not good. Field armory complete. You got it. Go grab that. You got it. You'll notice our pop cap is actually 40 on this mission. Which is nice. Is down. Whoa, seriously? I'll get it. Wow. Got it, got it. That was really not good. Reactor improved. Okay. That was not good. Still, there's not a lot we can do about it at this time. Got it. Right, let's pull these guys back. Let's get the Spartan back up. Supply pad upgraded. Bring the chair. Ice out. Let's just freeze these guys. Got it. It's the easiest way to deal with them. Come on. Spartan is back up. Forge the cutter. I'm beginning my ascent. Estimate 30 minutes to the detonation site. Godspeed, Forge. Got Godspeed. Got it. Got it. Right. Now Air we're in pad. business. Complete. Need level three to get the wingmen. That's unfortunate. Right, want reserves. Let's start getting our team in. More resources required. Yeah, we don't have to worry about resources just yet. We need to start making ways. Need as many of these bad boys as we can. I've tried it with vultures, but you can only get seven vultures maximum. Which, although extremely powerful, it's not... Ideal, should we say? Definitely want the Mac Blast as well. More resources required. Right, we're going to go roll this base that's next to us. That's our first objective. And then we can get our max level tech. We're going to hopefully not antagonize the enemy too much. Research. All of this bit here is Covenant. All of this bit here is Flood. And you can see they've already got a Watch scarab. It. Several large Covenant vehicles have been spotted. 
Yeah, there's more than several of them. We really want our Mac Blast to be as powerful as we possibly can. Have it. What we will do... Now things are progressing here quite nicely. Let's dismantle that. Let's pull in another reactor, get this one done early. I want my Hornets to at least have the wingmen before we attack. And that should do nicely. Hornet on station. Turret upgraded. Got a level two turret. Sweet. Come on, let's get these wingmen going. Reactor complete. Nice. Upgrade that. Right, let's get anti air. Because again, air units are going to be your primary pain in the ass here. Especially for this area. Right, we should have enough now to go roll the base. Turret improved. Although I yeah, I, I really do want the, the wingmen first. Let's go for turrets next. Want the best turrets we can have. Even though the best turrets, as I've said, they're, they're really, they don't seem that good, in all fairness. Mac improved. Nice. Yeah, it's a shame the Hornets' uh, main cannons are just so weak. But there's not a lot we can do about that, sadly. We've almost got the wingmen. Good stuff. Now, all air vehicles do have a bonus against ground vehicles, which is nice. Which kind of makes sense. Definitely want the max level Mac gun. We're probably going to be leaning on that quite a bit. Wingmen. Researched. Yeah, we want the chaff pods as and when we can. Right, let's go try and roll this base. We should be able to. Got it. Now, as long as we don't grab the attention of the scarab, I'll get it. we should be okay. Got it. Got it. Right, let's go roll these guys. Keep our units as mobile as we can. Take that down. Right, you guys collect that. Okay, let's do this. Only a small base. Shouldn't have too much to worry about here. Go waste them, guys. You can see our damage output is nowhere near. Uh, what we can achieve with the Vulture, but we do have more units. There we go. Get in there, guys. Right, what's going on over here? Let's increase to the next level of tech. We can upgrade the Mac gun again. Four Mac shots, which is going to be invaluable. Right. Reactor improved. Come on, let's cool the space down. Come on, guys. We don't have time. Don't have time to screw around. On my way. More resources. Ah, oh, that cost five hundred. Shit. Didn't realize that. That's fine. Base is fine. Right, let's get you down. Then we need to get these guys repaired. 
In your own time, Hornet. Nice. Could use a squad of men if we have any. Reinforcements research. We actually do. All units. Firebase ready. I guess that's the ODST there that they're talking about. That's not great. Right. Let's get this base developed. It's all about as quickly as we can. We need to build up our, our resources. Right, whilst we can, let's get the healing down. Where's the scarab? Scarab's in the corner, that's fine. That is not fine. That is something they didn't do last time. Let's go see if we can do something about that. Really don't want to lose this little resource center just yet. Oh, ODST. I guess that is actually a spare squad. Yeah, nice. Okay. Well, we certainly will make use of that then. Supply pad complete. Right, let's get this going. More resources required. All right, get your asses in there, boys. Good enough. Supply pad complete. More resources required. Turret complete. Okay, good, good, good. Progress. More resources required. Fortress upgrade complete. What I will do is More get another required. air pad built here. Yeah, when you get massive hornets, they are pretty beastly. Supply pad complete. Turret complete. Nice. Alright, that's the bottom taken hold of. Right. More resources required. Nine hundred. Damn. Turret improved. Right, now these little guys can be the best they can they can be. Turret complete. More resources required. Cool. Come on, baby. Supply pad. Nice. Supply pad. Sweet. Now our infrastructure is up. We can go for... We don't really need that. We'll go for that. Come on. Nice. Okay. How's everyone here? We're all good? Cool. Hornets are all they can be. More resources required. Start cracking out more hornets. Now, what I do want to see, I want to see how. We need the cryo bomb. Right, we're gonna hit that with that. Once that's frozen, let's go fuck it up. Yeah. There we go. One down. Got a huge force here that we need to deal with. 
what have we got left? We've got a carpet bomb. That will help. Ah, oh, what a bloody time for these dickheads to turn up. Alright, if they're going to scrap it out, that's fine. Oh, we can get hawks. I did not know that. I did not know that, guys. Then that is what we will do. That is expensive. Pull back. Get them out of there! I did not know we could get that. That is incredible. More resources required. Upgrade hornets to hawks equipped with laser beams. Hawks are fearsome combat units. Yes, they are. Okay. Enemy engagement. All right, pull them back. Pull them back. We can always use the fact that these guys are going to duke it out to save us a little bit. Alright, let's get these guys healing. Some of them are quite badly beaten up. <coughs> Alright, let's pump out some more of those. Damn it, get them out of there! Stop engaging. You don't need to. Nice. Now we got the big guns. Quite literally the big guns. We're just going to continuously pump these guys out. Right, go curb stomp those. Alright, kill those. There we go. Nice. What a huge upgrade hawks are. Really need to remove this filth. Good stuff. Right. Do you know what hawks remind me of actually? They remind me of orcas from the original Command and Conquer. Right, we're ready to roll the base. Let's go. Let's go roll these guys. Now scarabs will unlimit, uh, well, unlimitedly uh, respawn here. Periodically, that is. So that's something to bear in mind. Let's go take these turrets out. Come on, guys. Deal with the turrets. Yeah, don't you worry about it. Could that be the base that we're dealing with currently? Alright, take it out. And that. Shoot it down before it gets to the sky. Nice. Beautiful. Beautiful, guys. Oh, Scarab has been deployed. There we go. Bring that guy down. Unleash hell. That is how you deal with Max, my friend. And I'm not talking about the Steve Job variety. Got some spare population cap. Already at maximum population. In the air. Regeneration ready. Healing right, everyone get into that healing beam if you can. Anyone critically need it? Not really. Okay, cool. Now, we don't really need this base. We just want it to stop them getting it. Oh, get them out of there! 
You know what? It doesn't matter if we lose lose equipment now because we can just get it called back in. Right, good enough. Let's cool you down. Right, next victim. We can take that cannon over, but there's no real point, if I'm honest. Right, let's go grab this. There we go. It's th one of the final, well, the final black box, actually. Which one? Okay, that's fine. Right, you're done. Pull them back. Build this up. Now, we've only got a f little bit of time left, but that's all we need. Right. Let's waste this guy. Let's go retake the base. We do need that base here because we um, need to know when the scarab's going to spawn. Thought they might have done that. Okay. Alright, fire base is up. Fire bases suck because they can't have turrets. The only reason we're filling these with buildings is it makes the base more durable. Alright, what's down here? We've got a few more to reinforce the horde. Nice. Upgrade. Right, we're actually kind of already there. What I am going to do, though, is drop a save. Because this can come down to the wire quite often. We did save it, didn't we? Yeah, save. There we go. And besides, we get to play with Hawks, man. It'd be rude not to. Very little point, really, building these turrets. Because this base will get rolled by scarabs. Right. Covenant forces will be at Forge's position in approximately ten minutes. It's all good. It's all good. Let's get rid of these banshees. I'm in the sun. You heard Serena. I'll wait ten minutes, then detonate the core. That's all the time I can give you. What's going on down here? Oh my. Okay, yeah, we need Let's get you guys in here. Good luck, Sergeant. Supply pad complete. Right. Twenty two hawks. Should actually have oh man, they're so hard to actually select. There we go. Which base and what you're under attack by. Oh god, here we go. Didn't quite get him. He's dead now. There we go. You can see just how devastating your commander powers are when you use them combined like that. Supply pad complete. All units. Changing course. Local units. Local units. Come on, Local get them units. all. Local there we go, all 24. Right. Now let's go get the skull. Turret complete. There we are, nicely done. Supply pad I wish there was a button that would just auto select all of our units. Uh, all of our units of a certain type. There is in the second game, not in this one. There's the scope. Right, uh, all of our bases should now be able to stand on their own two feet. Alright, let's take these turrets out. Okay, what have we got here? What are we looking at? Got more tentacles. That's fine. P 
pacify the area, guys. Sterilize the lot. Mm-hmm. Damn right. Area clear. Burn this filth. Oh, Covey's scum have got a base. That's cute. Don't remember saying you can have one. Now, I don't think these tentacles grow back either. Right, so that is all the enemies. That is all the enemies sorted. Now this is where the main covies are flying in from, so we get anti-air all around there. Right. <coughs> now all we need to do is unlock the doors. Hawks are definitely the way forwards here. Well, to be fair, there's probably all kinds of ways you can do it. Now, these are linked, so you need to open that one. Another interlock is down. And then we need to... An interlock has been deactivated. Why? Where's my Hawks? Supply pad. Please. Right, let's get the Hawks. Let's get all these up. Station upgrade complete. Now these should be able to hold their own. Local units. Alright, all 24 of these guys. Let's just build up all of these. Supply pad. Please. There we go. Local units. There we go. All of them. Cool. Turret complete. Right. Local units. Come on, guys. Get rid of them. Remove them. Show them the overwhelming superiority of the human race. Right, now why can't we... That door is open, cool. Let's go open this one. Uh oh, uh oh, I know what that is. Fuck you, buddy. Yeah, you kind of need that kind of firepower to deal with these guys. Local units. That's it. The doors are paired. You need to activate both doors of a set to open them. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Local units. Turret complete. Alright, you're open. Let's go open this friend down here. Complete. Turret complete. Can't open this one. Curious, why not? Do not have anyone close enough? There we go. So when they say it's a puzzle, it's a little bit of a stretch. There we go, that door's down. <coughs> Just one door left. Oh, oh no, no, it is dead. I was, for a minute there, I thought it was still active. Right. Local units. Right, let's burn these guys. Turret improved. Turret Last improved. door. Local units. Let's go. This is where air units are so much better for this particular level because the maneuverability is so needed. Portal opened. There we go. Mission complete. 
We got all the skulls. We got all the black boxes. And we hammered the time that time. Sergeant Ford, time. All ground forces are evacuating to the spirit of fire. Copy that. Get our people out of here. I'm blowing the core. Goddamn hero. There we go, my friends. 30 minutes to completion. Gold level as well. Excellent. And we did everything. Woohoo! Forging a way to history. Completed mission 15 on any difficulty. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Let's continue. Beautiful ending. Hangar Bay reports all crews checked in. Then let's not outstay our welcome. Best speed away. Captain, the gravity field from the sun is expanding. We're not going anywhere. Let's see if we can't turn that to our advantage. Serena, plot a course that takes us into the sun. We're going to slingshot around it. Threading a needle while accelerating around an exploding star inside a planet that's falling apart? Well, sure. Why not? Serena, can you do it? It's done. You might want to hold on to something. I love Serena. Closing your eyes might help too. Don't forget to wear your brown trousers. Oh shit. I would much rather stay awake to monitor this area. Professor, there's been no sign of the Covenant for almost two weeks. There's nothing to do. But Captain... But nothing, Professor. You got us all out of there alive. Get some rest. Not all, Not of, all us. of us, Captain. Not all of us. And you might be able to hear some bell end outside going mad with uh, petrol tools. And there we go. Ensemble Studios dedicates Halo Wars to all of our fans. We owe our success to you and we are honoured by what you've given us over the last 12 years. Thanks. We'll see you on Xbox Live. Although, Microsoft shut them down straight away after the completion of this product. Which is terrible. So yes guys, there we have it. Halo Wars. Um kind of a, a black sheep of the Halo Halo games. Um, I can understand why. It was really, really interesting that they decided to bring out an RTS game on the um, uh, onto the Xbox 360. Um, strategy games have never done well on consoles. Um, with the exception, I suppose, of the original Command & Conquer games that came out on the original PlayStation. Um, but but that was a different time, you know. Um, the original Command and Conquer games uh, for those old consoles were untouched, including the interface mostly, um, and they actually worked fairly well. However, strategy games have come a long way since those those dark ages or those golden days, depending on how you want to look at it. Strategy games these days have become massively more complex and that's where a lot of the enjoyment has come from them and it just does not transition well to a console uh, mainly because of the the control pad also you have extremely limited RAM and uh, underwhelming CPU power uh, things that strategy games really like a lot of but 
I stand by the fact I think they did the best with what little they had. Um, it's a fantastic console RTS. It is a pretty bad uh, PC RTS. However, it's still a lot of fun to play. And the story is still, at least to me, as good as it ever was. Um, beautiful CG cutscenes that really have uh, stood the test of time. Um, and of course, how can you talk about Halo without talking about the amazing second to none music? Which really is a standout feature for the Halo, Halo series, which sadly has been lost a little bit um, with the transition to 4-3, uh, 343 Studios. But never mind, all good things must come to an end. What is that? It sounds like a hedge trimmer of the petrol variety. So anyway guys, I hope you've enjoyed that playthrough. I have enjoyed that playthrough immensely. It has been fantastic. A, a little bit of a pipe dream of mine to go back and play Halo Wars on the PC. Something that I've wanted for years and years and years. However, it is a shame that they didn't rework it to the PC to the level I think that they should have. They should have fully embraced keyboard and mouse support uh, with grouping, yeah, yeah, yeah. True, that would probably have totally broken the balancing um, and the, the, the levels would have had to be massively reworked. So, yeah, I understand why they didn't do that. But as, as for the port, I think the port was great. It looked great. It ran great. I'm, I was pretty much getting 120 frames a second throughout the whole thing. Um, which is another stickler on the consoles. 30 frames a second, if you're lucky. And the game being boosted up. With all the new textures and everything. Uh, I think they actually um, transitioned this version over to the Halo 2 engine. And yeah, it just looked beautiful. So... Where are we heading after this? Well, the truth is, guys, I don't know. Um, I literally have no idea what I'm going to do next. I am going back to doing um, a horror game. Uh, there is one coming up very soon, possibly already started by the time you see this. Maybe? Um... I can say that we're going to a familiar old town. One that has a lot of unplayed games on my behalf. And I intend to play them all. Because, well, quite frankly, it would be rude not to. Now, Halo Wars 2, I will possibly be covering. Probably not for a little while. Because the problem with Halo Wars 2 is you get halfway through the game and the game ends. You complete the game. But the way the game has been set up with the DLC and all that, that is literally half of the experience. You're gearing up for this awesome, like, massive battle and the game just ends. Because, because DLC. And I don't have the DLC for it. So, yeah, probably not for a while. Hmm. My god, I'm dumber than I gave myself credit for. I've just looked in the corner uh, of my glass cabinet, and I know exactly where we're going after this. We're going back to a 360 game. Hmm. Okay. Forget everything I just said, guys. I know exactly where we're going. We're going to play a horror game made by Sega. Which is actually the... Um, a sequel to a game that I've already done. Yes. I was going to do this before the other horror game that will be running fairly soon. But I opened the box to find that the disc was missing. And considering I hadn't opened that box for many, many, many years, 
I was quite concerned, and I will apologise if you can hear chainsaws in the background. It actually sounds like a strimmer. Could be a garden. No, it's a hedge. Oh, it's a hedge trimmer. Oh. Um, yeah, so this I was going to do this game, and uh, yes, my XX was pretty bad when it came to putting games back. In fact, it was criminal. Um, so I'm going to assume that she left it out somewhere and it's been lost to the sands of time. But have no fear, I went down to CEX and I actually found it for £1.50. So, we now have the two games. I'm not even worried, usually, usually when I complete a game, not always, sometimes I know what I'm doing. I sit down for a minute and I'm like, bugger, what next? But now, now we're all gravy. We're all gravy, baby. So, thanks for watching, guys, and as always, until next time.